It's Friday, so you know what that means. It's time for another Friday Five. Last week, I announced that I was starting a new company called Bloom, and so for my first of the five, I have to say that the response to Bloom has been overwhelming. So many people have said congratulations or thanks, or I got a lot of um, response from people, and I'm so, grateful. I am super excited for this new adventure and I have connected with a bunch of new people and um, I am, it just makes me really, really excited to start this. And so thank you to anyone who watched this, who reached out to me and said something, or even if you just liked a picture or whatever, I am just overwhelmed by the amount of support outreach that has been brought to me by this announcement. So that's my first thing of this Friday Five. The second thing is this chakra spray. I am so obsessed with this room spray. Um, it's actually, it's called a balancing body mist. And essentially what you do is uh, you go to a Veda store or you go to Nordstrom. I went to Nordstrom with my mom and <laughs> it's probably, it's so gimmicky, but I love it. Uh, they give you all these little flashcards. I don't remember what the flashcards say, except for I end up picking chakra number seven and it smells amazing. I use it as a room spray. So really right before I go to bed, I spray my pillow with it and it's so nice. If you are in a Nordstrom or an Aveda store and if you like that kind of natural scent of Aveda, you will die over this. I highly, highly recommend it. And with the holidays coming up, I think it's a really good gift to give people just because I think Aveda is nice and um, I would love giving it, getting it as a gift. <laughs> so uh, I always think that's the best policy is give something that you know you would like. So these are, I mean, they're fairly expensive for pillow spray. I think they're like 30 something dollars and um, you can pick it for them, the one through nine or however many, just the one that you think speaks the best to them or to yourself. So definitely go check these out. My number three is more than just from this week. It was from the past four weeks and that was that I did a month of no shopping, like nothing unnecessary. I didn't buy decorations, I didn't buy clothing, I didn't buy makeup, I didn't buy anything that wasn't necessary. So I did go to Target, I had to buy Q-tips, but other than that, I think I went to Target twice, once for Q-tips and once for like, I can't even remember what it was, but whatever it was, it was probably like food or something like that. And I was really proud of myself. I think um, I just went into the habit of just buying things to buy things and I wanted to break that habit. So I went um, for a month of no shopping and I feel cured. <laughs> for my fourth thing this month, I am looking at this recipe. So I think my sister-in-law and brother-in-law, David's brother and sister-in-law are coming over for dinner next week and I wanna make something delicious. So I've been looking at the food and wine uh, November issue and I found these pork buns. They are called roast pork sandwiches with three cheese or three cheese with three cabbage slaw and aioli and they just look amazing. So you make everything from the por slow roasted pork to the dinner rolls and the dinner rolls have the black sesame seeds and they just look small and delicious and I think Oh, so Dan and Kelsey, my brother and sister-in-law, have a son, Grayson, and he's two. So I think that he will really like just the little bits of pork. And then um, I think that will be good for him to eat. And then Dan, Kelsey, and I can have these little, they're almost like pork sliders. I think that they're going to be really good. I will let you know how that goes. Um, and for the most part, I think that Food & Wine magazine recipes are excellent. I haven't had very many recipes that I've tried from food and wine that I haven't liked. So if you're looking for a good magazine, food magazine, food magazine to subscribe to, I would definitely check out food and wine. So for number five, I went shopping at Fry's for normal grocery things. And after my whole month of no excess shopping, I decided to splurge <laughs> and I picked up uh, some cacti. So these were actually on sale. They're only $3 each. And I repotted them. They came in like a brown terracotta or like a terracotta pot. 
and um, I put this one's an Ikea pot, but it was only three bucks for this awesome cacti. And cacti, I have, I have kept cacti alive for years and years. So I am a, I am tried and true cacti mom. So I got this one and then I got two other ones. And I just thought it was a really awesome deal. I didn't really know that you could buy indoor plants at a grocery store so it was in a little cart that said like 50% off and yeah so I have been very pleased with myself I repotted them and I think that they will be a great addition to our cactus family Thank you so much for watching this edition of Friday Five. As always, if you have anything that you think I should try out, leave it in the comments below. And have a great weekend, and I will talk to you on Sunday for an exciting feature.